Hey guys, welcome to Beer Talk. This episode I'm doing a review of Apple Brandy Noir from Prairie Artisan out of uh, Tulsa, Oklahoma. This is a uh, yearly release, uh, 12% Imperial Stout from Prairie. It is super thick. Very little head on it. Just ridiculous glass slicing. This thing, I mean, it's 12%. You'd expect that, obviously, but uh, anyway, you can check this guy out. Look, it's just super thick. I mean, you can't see anything through that. It's black, just freaking motor oil in a, in a glass. Uh, really, really cool bottle art. Um, I mean, it's like. Uh, the pegboard pegboard in a garage or something it has a bunch of different cool stuff on there they always have really just off the wall artwork eh, it's, it is what it is <clears throat> you can, for all I care you can just put the name on it you know like, like uh, main beer does just put the name on it put a little doodle on there and stick it out if, if the beer's good you know it's good Get the smell. Okay, tons of chocolate. Very little roast, if anything, and I'm actually kind of surprised I'm not getting any alcohol from it. Maybe a little bit. It's got some, uh, like, a uh, uh, little bit of prune, a little bit of uh, dark fruit. But yeah, really nice. Uh, I'm just not really, really pungent, and I let it warm up <clears throat> quite a bit. Uh, let's see, it says the, I think it says the serving temperature on it somewhere. Actually, this one doesn't. A lot of them do. <clears throat> yeah, anyway. It's, it's fairly warm. The carbonation is really actually nice. It just didn't seem to hold up, didn't seem to have much of a head on it. Uh, I could probably work one up, but I'm, you know, I don't want to kill the carbonation on it. Uh, anyway, the smell. We'll go with a 38 out of 40 on the smell. Let's go for the taste. Cheers, guys. Oh, oh yeah, this thing's, this is gnarly, man. Butterworth, um, Werther, not Butterworth, Butterscotch, Werther's Original. Um, I mean, that's immediately what I what I taste. Like it's if Werther's, you know, were put in liquid form, this is it. It's that creamy. It's that much toffee. That much, you know, uh, sticky stickiness on your tongue. <clears throat> Everything. It's just. Yeah, that and a little little bit of alcohol bite, not much at all. This is fantastic. Um, yeah, I, this is actually the first time I've ever had this. Um, I really, I, I like brandy, and I, <clears throat> I've had a few things that have been aged, if not completely, partially in brandy barrels before. Uh, I believe Mother's uh, Milf has part. Part of the blend is aged in brandy barrels, I believe. Uh, anyway, this is, I mean, <laughs> I mean, it's a, it's a 39 on, on flavor. It's definitely a 39 out of 40 on flavor. Uh, as far as availability goes, you can only get this thing once a year and it's, it's hit or miss. Uh, you can't get it all over the country. Uh, availability will go, we'll go th three, uh, style for this style. It is, I mean, what do you, what do you call a style? It's a American double stout, an Imperial stout. Um, 
barrel aged stout. For a barrel aged stout, this is spot on. I mean, this is this is a ten um, for style. Uh, price point, <clears throat> Prairie's always always overpriced. I mean, I believe this is like ten bucks for a bottle, um, a twelve ounce bottle. I think it's ten bucks, nine ninety nine or something like that. Ten, ten bucks for for a twelve ounce bottle. That's just that's just overpriced. So we'll go two on um, on price point. Uh, what I want to discuss on on this episode are dry areas. I mean, it's basically modern day prohibition. Uh, people in certain areas have just decided that they still don't want alcohol to be sold. And they come up with all this propaganda like, oh, well, you know, if there are liquor stores, then, <clears throat> then there are going to be more homeless people. There are going to be, there's going to be more crime. There's going to be, no, there is no, there's absolutely zero data to back that up at all. And it's just a propaganda made up on, you know, uh, made up statistics and things like that on, on their end to try to, uh, prevent alcohol from being served or sold in their area. If you don't want to buy it, don't buy it. That's it. If you don't want to consume it, don't consume it. If you don't want to buy it, don't buy it. That's it. Don't keep it from other people. Don't allow your area to, uh, or don't deprive your area of the, the extra taxes and the extra income from, this industry that could potentially help your area. I mean, look at most of the dry areas. Most of the dry areas are your poor, your more rural areas that, you know, are that tend to not have a whole lot of anything there anyway. You know, they're you're more they're more depressed areas to begin with. Anyway, that's my thoughts. What do you think? Comment, like, subscribe. Um, so yeah, that's, that's been this episode. Thanks guys. Cheers.